Hey there, friendlies. How's up? Um, what you're hearing over there is uh, chainsaw. The SIPAC um, employees are chopping up a tree that came down in the rain last night. Um, I want to talk to you guys about this. This is my new air mattress sleeping pad. Uh, it's right here. I'll give you the actual name of it. It's the Thermarest Neo Air Topo. Okay. Um, I want to start this by saying I'm not being paid for this. I have no relationship with uh, Thermarest. Um, I just bought this based on a recommendation and I kind of want to recommend it to you guys. So we could call it a review if you want, but it'll be a real sort of fast and loose review. We can call this a first impressions video, okay? I bought this right after the camping trip I took in Ontario on Russell's property uh, link there because that silly little like aluminium paper kind of sleeping pad that was in my um, um, hammock just didn't make the grade. Uh, I spoke to a few people and a lot of people said no man you need like an air mattress under there. Uh, so. A friend of mine who I know through playing music in Alberta, uh, she suggested this. Her entire family are avid like hikers, uh, backpackers, mountain climbers, hill walkers, you know, um, and she swears by this. And so I said, okay, I'll give it a try. Uh, it sure weren't cheap. Um, it was over a C note. It was this. I bought it at, I believe, I think I got it off of Amazon. No, I bought it directly from Thermarest, actually. Um, so, first off, this is for trek and travel. This is, I guess, their backpacking oriented one. It don't weigh much. Uh, and it comes in a couple of sizes. This is the regular size. Okay, it's got an R on it right there. So, the I'll just give you the, the measurements on it because I just used this for the first time this weekend okay I bought this <laughs> a long time ago haven't had a chance until now so the long, the thickness is 7.6 centimeters which is three inches okay the weight is 590 grams or one pound five ounce it's 51 by 183 centimeters which is 20 by 72 inches and the R value which is important especially if you're sleeping in a hammock is 2.3. So we're not talking about a wintertime um, sleeping solution here, but I'm probably not going to be hammock camping in January or February anywhere in Canada. I got this to replace that silly thing in my hammock, but also I used to have one of those self-inflating uh, air, air mattresses that, you know, you twist the thing open, it goes to about two inches or something and then you tighten it off uh, and that I don't know it was leaking or something every time I used it by the end of the night I was sleeping on the ground um, so uh, this just feels better than that now 20 inches I believe it said that's kind of narrow for a guy like me so I thought I was gonna be rolling off of this but it wasn't bad sleeping on the ground in a tent um, it will fit into my hammock I'm pretty damn sure of it but we'll see and I believe that because of the amount of room this takes up, again, we will see, it's not going to move around under me as much. I think it'll sort of jam in there and, and be good, I think. I am hopeful because this was not cheap. Uh, so to blow it up, you can either loosen that and, you know, or this is cool. It comes with, it comes with a pump. So what you, what you do with this is, right, obviously you loosen this up. You put this on there, and then you essentially use this sort of like as an airbag. You sort of fill it with air, with air, and as you crush it down, I'm not doing this very well. You get air into the bag, and then you fold it over, and as you roll it, he said, and then as you roll it down, it blows this up. So, I mean, it's good if you're someone who gets winded easily, for sure. That's how you inflate it, to deflate it or to adjust the, the springiness, like if you want it a little less inflated, what you can do is take this little twist lock, they call it, open it, 
Okay. And then, there you go. Super simple. It also comes with, okay, instructions. Here's a little field repair kit. I'm sorry, I hope you can hear me. And a stuff sack. So, I mean, that's above and beyond my usual Canadian tire level um, air mattress. I would call this a buy so far. Uh, I will do a long term, like a full on review maybe uh, later on. But for now, uh, if it lasts, then I'm gonna call that a win. Uh, that's too loud, so I'm gonna cut this short. Okay, so that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this little product review. Uh, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things, he said as quickly as possible. One, comment down below. Do you have a preferred air mattress? Or do you have this one? If you have this one, let me know if there's anything I should be watching out for. Two, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. <laughs> Bye, guys.